Now, dear student, we are going to discuss this question, question number 6.14, and my dear student, this question is very, very important because this question is very conceptual as well as here we will utilize so many concepts of this chapter. Clear? So, now we are going to discuss this question fully concentrated on a screen and let us try to understand each and every concept. Clear? So, now concentrated. In this question, uh, it is given to you, figure shows a metal road PQ as you can see in figure. PQ resting on smooth rail AB, fine, and position between the poles of a permanent magnet. Uh, permanent magnet is given to you. This is a uh, horseshoe magnet. You can say this is north pole and this one is south pole. Okay, the rail. Rail means we can say this AB. Clear? So rail number one, second one is the road, and third one this magnetic field. All are mutually perpendicular. Okay, a galvanometer G. A galvanometer G connects the rail through a switch K. Okay, fine. Clear. Length of the road is given to you. This is 15 centimeter and B value is given 0 0.50 Tesla. Fine. So, resistance of closed loop containing the road, it is also given here and assume the field is to be uniform. Clear. So, first let us try to write here all the parameters that is given to you. So, it will be easy uh, for you uh, to do some calculation. Clear. Now, important part here it is given. Uh, I can actually highlight here also length of a road okay i am writing here length of a road is 15 centimeter so we can say this is 15 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter clear value of b this is 0 0.50 tesla clear and resistance of this closed loop resistance uh resistance of this closed loop actually this is ohm clear ohm so i can say this is equal to 9.0 milli ohm clear and we can say this is equal to 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 Oh, fine now we have to assume field is to be uniform fine clear now we are going to solve part number a clear in part number a it is given let's suppose this k key is open okay and road is moving with the speed of 12 centimeter per second in the direction shown so now we can say this road is actually moving in this direction with velocity that is given to you and velocity is here 12 centimeter per second i can say 12 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter per second fine in the direction so give the polarity and magnitude of induced emf first let us try to understand you can see if i draw here this diagram uh, we can say actually magnetic field in the downward direction velocity vector is perpendicular to this magnetic field as well as you can see the length of this road length of this road is also perpendicular to b as well as v uh, clear so I can say here B, V and L all are mutually perpendicular, clear? So it means I can write here directly this is equal to B, V, L, clear? Yes or no? When we can apply this formula? When B, V and L all are perpendicular to each other, clear? So value of B, value of B, V how? Uh, it is given 1 by 2 multiply V, V is given 12 into 10 to the power minus 2 and what about length? Length is given to you 15 centimeter. So 15 into 10 to the power minus 2. Clear? So from here we can say this is 6. I can say this is 90. So directly you can say 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt. Clear? So this is induced EMF that is produced in this road PQ. Clear? Now, now uh, concentrate on a part number B. In part number B it is given is there an excess charge build up at the end of a road when the K key is open. Clear? Now listen. Definitely we are saying here at this time this key is open. It means there is no current that is flowing. But we know here when this road is going in a right direction, magnetic field is acting in a downward direction and length is also perpendicular to B and V. Clear? At the time we can see can we find here which end is at higher potential and which, one, which end is at lower potential? Yes. Now you can see, let's suppose if I am using this right hand palm rule, at the time magnetic field is uh, indicating in the direction of this finger. So I can see this finger representing direction of magnetic field, clear, like this. I can see thumb, this thumb is indicating direction of motion. At the time I can see this uh, perpendicular inward direction, it shows the direction of higher potential, clear. It means I can see if I draw here, yes, if I draw here I can see this P point or we can say this P end is at higher potential and I can say this Q end is at lower potential. Clear? 
Actually, what we understand by higher and lower potential? Actually, we can say at higher potential means here we are having a deficiency of electrons, clear? And here we are having a deficiency and that is excess of electrons, clear? So, if I say, uh, definitely we can say uh, excess, we can say Lorentz force or magnetic force that is acting here, clear? So, when this key is open, definitely current is not flowing, but yes, definitely induced EMF will be generated, clear? And it is also asked to you, uh, uh, which one is at higher potential? So, uh, I can say point P is at higher potential compared to point Q. Clear to you? So, now we can say what will happen if K is closed. Clear? Definitely, I can say when key K is closed, at the time, I can say we can assume this situation like this. A current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field. Clear? So, when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, I can say uh, that conductor always experiences a force. Clear? So, now, so definitely it will experience a force. So, B1 is complete. Now, if we are going to discuss part number C, part number C given when K is open and the rod moving uniformly. Clear? There is no net force on the electrons. Correct? So, even when they do experience magnetic force. Yes, that is true. Why? Listen carefully. Let's suppose I am saying here, let's suppose here we have a conductor, clear? And let's suppose this conductor is moving in this direction, clear? And <coughs> I can say this is length L <coughs> and magnetic field is let's suppose in this direction. <coughs> At the time we can say if uh, fingers representing direction of magnetic field, Clear? Thumb indicating in this direction. So, at the time I can say this end we are having at higher potential. Clear? And this one is lower potential. So, actually a magnetic force will act on the electrons of this conductor and initially there is no any, uh, there is no any uh, potential difference. So, as this force will act on that electron, some electron will actually move from this side to this side. And as, as this magnetic force will retain, I can say more number of electrons will move like this, clear? So, I can say initially we have only magnetic Lorentz force, clear? But what will happen? What will happen with time? I can say uh, as, soon, uh, as soon as here, the more potential will be developed. Definitely, I can say electrostatic force also come into picture, clear? So, we can say in equilibrium condition, we will find, a, uh, we can say, QE, it should be equal to QVB. Means, I can write like this, on an electron, electrostatic force that is act F equal to QE, this should be equal to minus times of EVB. Clear? I can say this one and this one cancelled out. Clear? So, when this key K is open, at that time, definitely I can say here, magnetic force is acting, but with the time, electrostatic force is also developed. And in equilibrium position, uh, we can say QVB, this should be equal to QE. Clear? So, from here we can say E, this is given by VB. Clear to everyone? So, this is all about uh, this question part number C. Clear? <coughs> now, uh, definitely in this question we have so many concepts. So, concentrate properly. Now, part number D. What is retarding force on a road when key K is closed? Now listen very carefully. Let's suppose I am saying now this key is closed and let's suppose current is flowing in this direction. Clear? Now I can say current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field. So I can say magnetic field is acting in downward direction. Direction of current is this one. It means I can say now force will act in this direction. Clear? This is the force acting, clear? Now, we can say actually road is moving in a right direction and this force is acting in a left direction. That means I can say this act like a retarding force, clear? So, when this act like a retarding force, uh, at the time, I can say here, retarding force, this is equal to BIL, clear? Now, you can see, if I write here IL cross B, clear? L vector and B vector both are perpendicular, so directly I am writing this formula value of B, clear? Value of B we have 1 by 2, clear? Yes or no? 0 0.50, clear? What about current, clear? So, current value, can we find here value of current? Yes, how can we find? Actually, we know induced EMF and resistance of this uh, closed loop, clear? Induced EMF, we have already calculated here, this is 9 into 10 to the power minus 3. So, 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by what about resistance? Clear? Resistance is given to you. This is equal to 9 into 10 to the power minus 3. 
9 into 10 to the power minus 3. So from here we can say this is equal to 1 ampere. Clear? 1 ampere. So I is equal to 1 ampere. Now I can put this value here. Clear? And what about L? L is given in this question 15 centimeter. So multiplied with 15 into 10 to the power minus 2. So from here we can say this is equal to 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 Newton. Clear? So I can say this is a retarding force that is acting on this road. Clear? So this is all about part number D. Clear to everyone? Yes. Now next one. In the next question it is given how much power is required to keep the road moving at a same speed. Clear? Now we can say Definitely now you know a retarding force F is acting when we close this key at the time if we want to move this road with a uniform velocity it means we have to apply some external force that is having the same magnitude as retarding force clear or I can see here we can say this F external this is equal to F uh, we can say this due to magnetic field and this is equal to BIL clear and we have already calculated value of F clear what is this value? This is 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 Newton. Clear? So 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 Newton. Clear? Now, this is F external. Now, what is my objective? My objective here is to find uh, power. Clear? Now, we have to find power when this key is closed. When, key, key, when this key is closed, at the time I can see, we can write like this, this is F V. Clear? Here I am taking external. Clear? Because external force is acting in right direction and velocity vector is also in the same direction. Clear? So external force. External force we can see 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 multiplied. What about velocity? Velocity is given? Yes, 12 centimeter per second. So 12 into 10 to the power minus 2. Clear? So from here we can see this is equal to we can say 60 we have 6 and we can say 90 into 10 to the power minus 4 or I can say this is equal to 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 watt clear so I can say uh, this is all about power that is required clear so when k key is closed clear but what will happen when k key is open clear when key is open there is no current that is flowing in this uh, we can say conductor and I can say here only force that is acting this is Lorentz force as well as the electrostatic force and that actually acting perpendicular to the direction of velocity so I can see here there is no external force that is needed to move this road with a constant velocity so when key is open there is no any external force is required so power dissipated it will be zero clear now now if I am talking about F now if I am talking about F in F it is given how much power is dissipated as heat in a closed circuit clear so I can say power that is given by I square R clear I square R value of I we know this is equal to 1 ampere and what about R R is given to you yes in this question it is given uh, this is 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 clear so 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 and this is equal to 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 watt clear so I can say this much power is dissipated now next part is here what is the source of this power so we can see when a uh, when circuit is closed actually we are applying some external force and due to that external force actually we are doing some work and actually that work is converted here in the form of heat clear yes now we are going to discuss part number g in part number g what is the induced cmf in moving road if the magnetic field is parallel to rails clear so magnetic field is parallel to this it means i can say now in this question it is given magnetic field in this direction clear now you can say that if we are talking about induced cmf induced cmf that will be uh, we can say that is bvl yes or no or we can say yes that, that is bvl but important part is here here b and v both are in the same direction clear so for part number g i am writing here for part number g we know induced emf uh, this is given by b v l but i can say here this is we have sign zero clear 
बिकॉज एंगल बिटवीन बी एंड वी दैट इज जीरो वेन एंगल इज जीरो आई कैन से इन डू सी एम एफ विल बी जीरो वोल्ट क्लियर सो आई कैन से इन पार्ट नंबर डी इन इन दिस सिचुएशन देर विल बी नो एनी इन डू सी एम एफ दैट विल बी जनरेटेड इन दिस कंडक्टर रोड क्लियर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट डिस्कशन